My name is Rebecca Demarest, and I am a fellowship-trained, board-certified, pediatric and young adult primary care sports medicine specialist at Webster Orthopedics, who's been in practice for about 10 years. Female athletes are unique individuals and have a unique set of injuries. Did you know that female athletes are at a two to eight times increased risk for ACL, or anterior cruciate ligament injuries, compared with their male counterparts? Did you know that female athletes are at risk for something called the female athlete triad? And although not specific to female athletes, female athletes are at risk for lower extremity overuse injuries during their growing years. Female athletes are at a two to eight times increased risk for ACL or anterior cruciate ligament injuries compared with their male counterparts. The ACL is a ligament in the knee that helps prevent the tibia or the lower leg bone from moving forward off of the femur or the upper leg bone. It helps stabilize your knee when you're running, cutting, jumping, or pivoting during sports activity. There are a lot of different factors that may contribute to why girls are at higher risk than boys when it comes to ACL injuries. We think that those include anatomical differences between boys and girls, hormonal differences between boys and girls, and neuromuscular or biomechanical differences between the way boys and girls move. Research is looking at how to prevent ACL injuries, and the most promising thing that we have to date is something called an ACL Injury Prevention Program. You may have heard of these, such as the PEP program out of Santa Monica, California, or Sports Metrics out of Cincinnati, Ohio. And what these programs do is they try to focus on flexibility, strength, and training the athlete to properly land, cut, run, and jump so that their ACL is at less risk for injury during their sports activities. 